Good morning, my name is Jonathan from MPT Music. Today I would like to introduce you Isman Guitars. So Isman Guitars, this brand is quite unique. It's actually established in 1992 by a name a founder called Chen Ni. And he was actually studying in the uh, US in that time, uh, studying music, um, more to a flutes and uh, stuff like that. But he found out that uh, in that time, a lot of uh, students are actually, they need a uh, affordable violin. As you know, violin at that time is very expensive and even the student model are handmade in Italy or in other other part of the UK which is going to cost them a lot of money so he see that and he tried to ask his family as his family is a wood crafting uh, people and he asked his families to build a violin and every time they send in the violin and give it to those students and those students give them a very good advice and a good criticisms so he take that and he write a letter and send back to their parents and every time they send back the violin it has improved so back and forth back and forth the violin becomes so good and become then now is actually one of the biggest distributor in North America and they have around 250 dealers around US alone not including UK yet they, they are very big right now so as you know, violin is one of the most difficult instrument to make, handmade. And they make it so well that they are having a very good quality instrument which is made in China, but the quality can compare to say example like the two, three thousand uh, US dollar can compare to a ten, twenty thousand US dollars violin. So that, that is how they position themselves. They make it high quality, at the same time not, uh, I mean not too expensive, which is most uh, American can afford. Now, as you know, violin is hard to make, but they, they, they manage to make it very well. Then they venture into cello, viola, you know, all the double bass. Then along the way, they start making guitars. They make an arch top guitar first. As you know, arch top guitar very much has the uh, same skill needed to make a violin or viola, or because uh, there's a curve on the top of the body. It is harder to make an arch top guitar than uh, to make a flat top guitar or a drag knot like this. So they started to make uh, arch top mandolins and then venture into uh, drag knot or those uh, grand auditorium series now the, the best part about this company is that they all handmade and they choose their woods carefully and they carefully dry their woods and they have uh, every room temperature to control all the room so to make sure that the guitar when it go outside of uh, China we went to uh, US, Canada, Malaysia, Indonesia, there won't be have a warp issue on the neck. So this is a uh, very important. Now, um, another thing is that uh, they only use, uh, a high, uh, I mean, uh, nitro lacquer. Mm -hmm. And there's a long word to it, but the short form called nitro. So this kind of lacquer, which is the gloss you are seeing here, <laughs> is very important because during the 1930s time people are using only this type of uh, lacquer to to build the guitar and it sounds uh, really very near to those uh, golden era time you see uh, why people keep on complaining uh, that the modern guitar built today doesn't sound as good as the golden era because uh, one of it is this issue now today in the modern society they no longer use a nitro lacquer they use a poly lacquer so poly uh, there's a long word to it but i like to call it poly lacquer so if you do a google <coughs> a little bit research on it you will find out that 
poly lacquer is easy to use because it's dry very fast but the disadvantage of it is that uh, most often it's very thick so if your lacquer is too thick on the wood your sound cannot be absorbed that much on the wood so it will come out very sharp or very treble a lot of brightness so as you can hear that from this guitar you sound it sounds very warm because the lacquer that they use is very thin so the wood the sound is still can be absorbed by the wood so this is very important of course uh, during the golden era time martin right they use uh, adirondack spruce for the top which this guitar also use adirondack spruce now eastman is using the same supplier supplied by uh, supply to martin and taylor larrabee and all the big brand there so they are using the same supplier so the wood in terms of wood they are same actually all imported wood <coughs> and all handmade so why handmade is important so a lot of people saying uh, shouldn't be the machine made is more accurate uh, shouldn't be the machine made is more precise I let me answer you that why handmade is important because one thing all this top actually they has a tone to it so like when you play drum you need to tune your drum right because drum has a certain tone like let's say example the tom you want it to tune it to a or g or e so you have to tune it so the tone on the wood you can only tone it by using shiver you have to you know make it thinner or thicker to get the tone that you want so machine they won't actually care about the tone of the top but Eastman they take the time they took the time to actually you know get the tone right and very importantly is that even the inside here you will feel very smooth because they sand it down if it's a machine made you will feel rough inside because they don't really care about the, uh, the inside as long as the outside looks good but Eastman took the time they actually polish everything here inside I mean not polish I mean they sand it very smoothly inside now I want to talk about uh, this guitar because this guitar is really really popular now in uh, the America and mostly compared to uh, Martin Taylor even Gibson's so you have to check it out go to their website uh, eastmanguitars.com you can also go to YouTube there's so many review about them uh, you can go and find out they have many tons of uh, uh, review about this guitar because it's I absolutely I love this so let me just uh, let you hear a little bit about this model this is the E20D Adirondack Spruce Stock Indian rose foot back inside, full solid. Now I feel the whole body is vibrating and I can feel it on my chest as well when I play it so it's really versatile with very it's hard to describe you have to try it yourself to you know understand the feeling now the best thing about this guitar it doesn't come with pickup with this model but they built a pin here you see it's, you can just put it out and then you can install any pickup you want if you don't want the pickup you can easily you know take take it out and put put this back it's so convenient you know nowadays all the guitar comes with a pickup you cannot simply change the pickup uh, already because they already installed here which will affect the tone when you have a pickup here even though it's manufacturer built for you you will notice that there are certain sound the hole here it will actually a little bit affect the tone of the wood and if you have a very expensive guitar you definitely do not want to open a hole here when it doesn't have a hole here 
So most people will choose the pickup drives uh, sliding inside here like this, like the Songha Jung type. Uh, those are proper pickup. If you don't like the tone, you can always you know take it out, change it something else. There are so many pickup out there today. Well, I hope uh, is I will you know you will understand more about Eastman. If you have any question, you can comment below and I'll try to answer all your questions. But all the information can be found in their website. Or you can per personally come to my shop, Amplitude Music. We are located in Subang Jaya to try it out yourself. You have to try before you buy. You must try before you buy. So, good luck. Have a good day. Bye.